Alicia and Ian are searching San Antonio for a home with modern amenities that doesn't sacrifice historic character. I mean, I, it is vintage, that's for sure, but it has some really cool modern features. But for these two, finding that balance is going to be an uphill battle. It's certainly era appropriate, but we need, I think, a little bit more modern situation than a master bath. It's simple and plain enough. I don't completely disagree with it. I think what he's saying is that he can't decide whether or not he likes it. And so I have to decide for us that this is a glamorous, nice bathroom. I do think we agree on our budget being 650000 My ideal house style would be a, a mid-century modern. I think my style preference would be craftsman. I think that I generally find that to be a little bit more homey. We're definitely open to different styles of homes so long as the particular architectural style is authentic to the way that it was originally built, if it's been updated. And it to be likely that we will have a hard time and maybe some hurt feelings along the way. <laughs> I love this neighborhood. Yeah. Well, I'm super excited to show you this house today because I think it's going to blend a lot of what you have been looking for. So it's the Craftsman, which I am pretty into. Yeah. I'm not sure it's total favoritism, but I feel like this is definitely leaning towards trying to hook up Alicia with what she wants. Me? Play favorites? Never. I mean, I've known Alicia her entire life, so it's really easy for me to gauge what she likes. I'm certainly trying to play a level field. Built in 1926, three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, currently listed at 615. It's only been on the market a couple days. Okay. okay. Uh, Could have put a foam topper on this and let someone sleep on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Take right. It can double as bedroom number four. <laughs> Look. What do you think of all of this? You think I can get some work done here? I don't know, Ian. You tell me. I think this is looking pretty nice. We've got double ovens. I really like this tile work. It's it's funky, yeah. which is what I like. I do think it is updated super nicely. My only hesitation would be that we lose some of the charm when we're dealing with some place that's been totally gutted. So this is one of two of your guest bedrooms. Yeah, this is a nice, nice big room, yeah. I think this would probably end up probably being a den, you know, gender neutral cave for the both of us. Yes. <laughs> and so one of the other great things about this house is that all of the bedrooms have their own bathroom. Wow. wow. Very, very nice. This is really big. Yeah, I mean, the hardware's not my choice, but, you know, this is all very usable and functional. Function, that's not a word. <laughs> this well, is all great. I like that there's this much counter space for just a secondary bathroom. I always like natural light on my toilets. <laughs> and funny. But sometimes I wonder, does he really want that great lighting in the toilet room? So here you have your powder bath. Just more, more, more bathrooms to use, yeah. More it's not bathrooms a bad thing. is better. Yeah, that's right. That's great. And then here we have the laundry room. Oh, I'll let y'all take a peek in laundry. there. That's great. Yes, dedicated laundry is it's great. A lot of pipes. I'm not sure what they're for, but yeah, that looks great. A lot you of won't pipes. notice them once you get the washer dryer in there. Yeah. No, just press the button, it'll be like magic. And this is the master? This is the master. Wow. So tell me, what do you think? I really like it. The size is definitely better than what we currently have, and it has a lot of windows, which yeah. I love. All the counter space. Well, this is definitely not going to work. It's <laughs> entirely too big. Got a huge shower. But no bathtub. That That is probably one of the biggest downfalls, I would think, of this house. It's just more of an issue if yeah. we ever have any kids. Yeah, it seems like something a house should have. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be sad to see how few clothes we actually have <laughs> yeah. once we get in here. <laughs> We're really going to have to upgrade. <laughs> low maintenance backyard here but is there grass? certainly not much grass to take care of and into that a fence or something is going to be needed to, to keep the dog in she'll definitely bounce if she has an opportunity so i think that yeah. budget's starting to pick up on this house a couple things we got to do cha-ching cha-ching still want to look at a mid-century and, and see what else is out there but you know i think this is definitely in the running agreed but is there such a thing as two mid-century for Ian? I don't know about keeping up with the fish, but yeah, that's a very cool feature. So I know it was a little of a 
thrive to get out here. Yeah, a little bit out there. But this is a pretty amazing house. Yeah. It is super amazing. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that front door. That's what I'm talking about. This is an O'Neill Ford. Oh. Built in 1962. Yeah. This mid-century is absolutely amazing. It's almost like a museum piece. It's a time warp. Who wouldn't want to live in an awesome O'Neill Ford house? Four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Okay. And all at the very low price of $599,000. Okay. I don't know what's in the back, obviously, but this is a lot of yard. It might be a little more yard than you're thinking, but I think that, you know, the possibility is there that it yeah. really might work for you. Yeah. They did not sleep last night because I was so excited to show you this house. <laughs> and a proper nice. entryway. Yeah, this is a good entry, as mid-century as it gets. Half bath here, in right off of the bathroom, yeah. Right okay. off of the entry. Perfect. And then a dedicated study. Most of the house has mahogany paneling, but in here is walnut. Yeah, it's a good, good, good office, office size. The floors are fantastic. Saltillo. The saltillo is... Yes. So they have preserved it and kept it very much true to the 1962 yeah. when it was built. Yeah. Two mirror image living spaces. We've got one here and then Great. one this way. So you each have your own space. Loving this. Yeah. These big narrow windows so, into a courtyard. And there's some fish in there too. And it's very zen. I don't know about keeping up with the fish, but yeah, that's a very cool feature. The only thing that it doesn't really have is that large island where people can kind of congregate. Yeah. I guess that's the purpose of this kind of stone piece over here. It's got everything that I need to, to get to work in here. So that's a definite bonus. Yeah, I think ideally what we always envisioned Something would be having like this wall gone. I guess, would you be willing to do that sort of project? I mean, but in general, looking out into this is fantastic. And I know something that was important to you guys was the yeah. ability to be here, maybe reading and relaxing while the other might have some space to watch TV or something late night. I think yeah. that you're really gonna love this space. Wow, nice. wow. Pretty nice. great patio space, yeah. isn't it? So nicely covered. Saltillo coming through, yeah. Almost an acre here. It's three quarters Whoa. of an acre. So, but it is terraced up there, yeah. and mm -hmm. maybe you could just ignore it and yeah. hire a yard yeah. man. Come check out the master. Pretty spacious. Whoa. Yes. Yeah. This is a really good size. Wow, all this closet space here. Tight. Yes. Tight very, quarters in here. Very tight quarters. Whoa! Big shower. It's a very big shower. It's certainly era appropriate, but we need, I think, a little bit more modern situation than a master bath. I feel like every time you say maybe modification or renovation or something, Ian's little senses go up and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> has Melissa finally found a home that has the right mix of character and upgrades? It does have some of the character that probably would have been original to the era when the house was first built. Basket weave tile. Think of this neighborhood. Pretty great trees, huh? Amazing yeah, trees. Spectacular. Amazing trees. But um, I don't know about the style on this house. It's not exactly my craftsman, but it's absolutely no. adorable. Cute little front to the house. I like that front door up there. It has great curb appeal. Yeah. It absolutely does. Built in 1959. Okay. Four bedrooms. Oh, yeah. Four full bathrooms. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Good numbers. It's now listed at 739. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hi. And I know that there's more room to get these people down. Yeah, it's doable. Uh, we just didn't really want to pay that much. And Seems I don't think like you're going to have house. to. No. Okay. Maybe they're going to be angry because I took this risk and they think I'm not listening. But I took a risk bringing them here because I thought it was a great value and a potential long term house where they could grow. So let's oh. take a peek. Ooh, I'll wow. be open for now. We'll see what happens. Wow. Okay, this is nice. Feels pretty glam. Feels clean and, and fresh, yeah. I mean, it's a proper entryway, don't you think? Yeah, it's a pretty good entryway. A bedroom and a bathroom. Okay, good size bedroom. The French door is perfect for entertaining, and I was thinking of both of you this time because Ian has a stretching room and you <laughs> have a reading room. So no one said anything about the nice little pool in the backyard. A little oasis out there, Alicia. Eek. A pool looks like maintenance to me. Was not ready for this, but that looks really nice. I agree that it would be fun for entertaining. The only thing is just I don't want to be the one responsible for the pool. I would definitely have to be the one taking care of the pool, or we would just have to pay someone to do it for us. 
So, what do you think about this? This is a pretty great open dining yeah, this is great. kitchen area. Yeah. space. This kitchen pretty is Pretty nice beautiful. setup. Probably a three-seater. I wish it was maybe like five, but that's, I mean, at least you can sit at the island. There's a ton of room in here. I mean, we're not going to be bumping into each other, so that's nice. Down this hallway, we've got a laundry room okay. and then another full yeah. bedroom and bathroom. Good yeah. size. Good size. This definitely hides some guests. Or Murph, the cat. Or the cat. It could be the cat's room. So I want you guys to think about the future. Yeah. Um, some of these rooms down here you don't necessarily need, but they could certainly work great right. for you down Something the line. Something to grow into. Yes. Okay. So come check out this super large secondary bedroom. I feel like you're going to be impressed with the space in here. You could put one or two, maybe even three little kids in this oh, room. Yeah. Wow, Big. yes. This this is bigger is than our master bedroom right now, so yeah. A little bit more of a continuation of with the basket weave and mm -hmm. double sinks. Oh. And then a nice, nice yeah. shower in there. This is nice and roomy. Yeah. Ah, definitely. Definitely a good napping and TV room. Also more carpet, not ideal, and it's a very unfortunate brown. <laughs> well, I promise we can get that yeah. fixed really easily. Okay. <laughs> I've saved this for last. Uh, the master. The master. Okay, the we master. got the wood floors going. That's good. Open the secret doors. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Yeah. Wow. This is, I mean, a nice huge closet. I didn't see this coming. And you've got a little seating area here. Yeah, so cute. nice if you're getting ready, you can lay your outfits out and just kind of figure out what you want to wear for the day. Okay, well, this is a nice sized room. Oh. Wow. Whoa, very unique shower here. I'm into that. Me too. <laughs> nice big soaking tub. To actually have a tub in the house is nice. And yeah, double vanity, not a ton of counter space. No. But not, it is a double but vanity. But available storage. I think what he's saying is that he can't decide whether or not he likes it. And so I have to decide for us that this is a glamorous, nice bathroom. Melissa definitely found that craftsman for you. It had a lot going for it in terms of it was done well. Right, and at 6.15, it's right within our budget, and mm -hmm. it's also move-in ready. And the location was the closest. I think it's like a 10-minute drive for me. You know, I think we had maybe wanted to get a little bit more space. We would need a fence to keep the dog in and a lot of work out there to, to come up with a really great outdoor entertaining area like we want. Talk to me about that mid-century at five ninety nine. It was the cheapest one we looked at. That house was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And it was a work of art. I agree. I think that part of my hesitation about the mid-century home is that it was so special that I don't want to change anything and be responsible for degradating such a beautiful piece. Right. So let's talk about the contemporary ranch. Yeah, so I mean, it's 739, that one seems like way more than we want to pay. That house has a lot of room to grow, great curb appeal, more than enough entertaining space, and it's 100% move-in ready. You definitely did not win me over on the pool. No. I see the benefits, and, and I know that I wouldn't be the one maintaining it, but at the end of the day, it's something we'd be paying for that I don't really even want. Right. We closed about three weeks ago, and we moved in about five days ago. It feels so good to be in our new home, and I think we really found the right one. We negotiated down a little bit in the price. To about 608. Wait, you want to stack them? No stack. We no stack. stack. I don't think it was ultimately a compromise. I think once we looked at the mid-century that Ian had been dreaming about, he got on board with the craftsman being actually more practical for our daily needs. We definitely could always use more square footage. I'd love to have a dedicated workout room or something like that, but it works out just fine. Now it's just an ugly grid. <laughs> The best thing about this house is that we got to just move directly in without having to do anything. We've added a temporary little fence in the back just to keep the dog in for now. The ultimate plan is to have um, a nicer gate as well as a dedicated kind of living space out in the back. 